Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. It is an honor to have you here. Um, today I want to talk about a new insulin product called Fios. So uh, Fiosp is made by the same company that makes Novolog and it's actually the same drug product. Um, the only difference between Novolog and Fiosp is um, something we call excipients. They're like just the stuff that's kind of added to the active ingredient to affect um, how it's absorbed in the body or um, to affect some other things. But it's um, very similar to uh, Novolog and it's actually made by the same company and everything. And uh, you know, it's probably made in the same place or um, with similar processes. So the only real difference between Novolog and Fiosp is that Fiosp um, has something of something that they're terming an onset of appearance and that means that it takes about two and a half minutes for um, Fiosp to enter the bloodstream um, comparing that to Novolog it, which takes about five minutes. Basically that means that um, Fiosp can be administered with the first bite of a meal or 20 minutes into a meal and um, you don't have to time it five to ten minutes before a meal which can be kind of inconvenient for people you know I, I i can imagine some things can come up where you plan on having a meal in 10 minutes but you don't actually have that meal and you might experience hypoglycemia or other side effects because of that so that's kind of the um, selling point for fiosp so fiosp comes in a um, a pen or a vial and it's uh, um, it's usually injected in the abdomen and I'll, I'll link to a video that will explain um, how the uh, pens are injected and also how to rotate um, the injection sites. It's important to rotate injection sites because that minimizes injection site reactions. So injection site reactions are like um, rashes that can occur, something called lip lipodystrophy where um, flat uh, fat will kind of clump up around an area that's been uh, injected many times and it crazy, creates these lumps in the body and um, also um, pitting or hardening of the skin so that's also mi minimized by rotating injection sites so it's a, it costs about the same amount of money as Novolog does which all these insulins are astronomical they're very very expensive it's very silly how expensive they are um, Novolog for a box of pens, five pens, is over $500. Um, and for um, Fiosp, it's about the same price. So there's not much of a pricing difference. Uh, I don't know exactly. I think the, the coming out with this drug is a little bit strategic to avoid uh, generic challengers to differentiate the product from somebody who is coming out with a who might come out with a insulin aspart um, in, insulin aspart being the um, generic of Fiosp. So there are a few things to help with the price of um, the drug. There's a copay card which um, unfortunately it can only be used with people with commercial insurance or non-government insurance. It can't be used on Medicare Part D plans so even though you're paying um, paying a lot for those plans, um, you actually um, the card actually can't be used because of a federal law. And the card will say uh, pay as little as twenty-five dollars, but there's actually a maximum payment that uh, Novo Nordisk will pay towards the copay, and it's a hundred dollars. So if you have a three hundred dollar copay, normally it'll take that down to two hundred dollars. It won't take that down to twenty-five. There's also um, a patient assistance program for people who maybe they don't qualify for um, Medicaid but they're uh, still um, not able to afford the medication and um, there's a, a link to that as well. So the most um, serious and concerning side effect with any insulin is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia can be um, all the way from relatively minor to fatal with coma and death. So hypoglycemia is very serious. Um, anybody who has been on insulin for any period of time knows that, um, kind of knows about hypoglycemia, but um, mild hypoglycemia is characterized by dizziness, um, pale skin, um, thirst, um, being tired, irritable, 
all the way to um, mood changes and acting weird to um, coma and death. So it starts mild and it can become uh, more severe or uh, if somebody injects themselves too many times with insulin on accident, they, could, they can just go straight to severe hypoglycemia and that's very dangerous. That's why we have um, emergency glucagon pens and oral glucose tablets to help uh, raise the blood sugar when it goes down too low. And it makes sense because the whole, what insulin basically does is lower your blood sugar by putting that sugar into your fat tissue. That's why um, insulin can cause weight gain. Um, it also sends fat into your muscles and your muscles will create something called glycogen and uh, store glucose that way. Um, other, other things that can cause or potentiate the chance of getting hypoglycemia or certain medications um, if you have liver or kidney impairment, um, different situations like if you go from just kind of being relatively inactive to starting to be more active, that can increase your insulin need, that can decrease your insulin needs um, because your, um, your muscle will become more sensitive to insulin and you'll be absorbing more sugar from the blood and for those muscles. Now there's another issue that any insulin, including Fiosp, causes and that, that, that it can cause, um, well, all insulin lowers potassium levels and it can cause something called hypokalemia or low potassium. So doctors will check for, or they need to check for, um, potassium levels to make sure that you're not too, um, your potassium is not too low. Um, other medications couldn't cause uh, low potassium. Often uh, we'll see people in the pharmacy that um, have to take a prescription potassium su supplement to increase their potassium level. Um, that's extremely prevalent. Um, it's extremely common to see that. So Fiosp and other, in Fiosp and other insulins can do something um, called fluid retention. So uh, you basically you just hold more water and that can affect the heart and cause something called heart failure and it can worsen heart failure. There's a drug, drugs called TZDs. What those do is they can also um, increase the, uh, that issue, that fluid retention issue and cause heart failure or make it worse. Um, also with injecting anything, you can get rashes and things and the pitting and the hardening of the skin that I talked about and also the, uh, the clumping of the fat around the in injection site. Um, any medication can cause severe allergic reactions. So that's um, a reaction where there's swelling of the mouth, um, of the tongue, difficulty breathing, um, dizziness, confusion, extreme drowsiness, sweating. Uh, that's a medical emergency. People need to be rushed to uh, the hospital or they need to call uh, 911 if that happens. You know, a few other uh, issues that sometimes come up is people will uh, share their insulin to be kind of helpful. You know, if somebody's run out of insulin, you can have a little bit of mine. Um, that can be an issue because it can spread blood disease, bloodborne diseases like HIV or hepatitis. So that's kind of a no. You know, that's obviously um, not a good thing to do. Even if you switch the pen needles out, it can cause um, HIV or or um, other diseases. Uh, it can transmit. Um, so. Uh, another thing to note is that the, uh, the pens can stay out of the refrigerator for four weeks at room temperature. So some people will leave one pen out of the box and leave the rest of the box in the refrigerator. So um, just to wrap it up, uh, I have some links that I'll share with you um, to the discount card. I don't know if that's helpful for you. Um, to the video kind of step-by-step -step how to inject the medication and also for people that um, maybe they, they have uh, issue paying, paying for the prescription, obviously it's really expensive. I'll uh, leave a link to the patient assistance program. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe, it would be great to have you as a subscriber. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.